Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. I am Coldfire. And I am Kit. And today we are going to be reacting to the very first single off of the Like a Virgin album. And well, let me guess. Like a Virgin. Yep. <laughs> Although her manager did not want her... Um, um, I remember there was a big controversy, I think, because Dress You Up got released first okay. and she saw that it really wasn't um, <coughs> climbing as high so whenever the very first MTV Music Awards ever showed up on the air that's when she done the like a virgin on the thing and I remember that the rolling around was because she actually lost her pump when she came off the stairs of the bridal cake and it turned and into, she was searching for it and it turned into a dance and but then I remember her saying and it, it turned into her signature move so that's what she does on just about everything she does she likes to roll around on the floor because that's what she's known for well even her manager whenever she got finished with the song she walked backstage and he said you're fired you were supposed to dress you up not like a virgin and she's like, oh, well. And she thought, she, she said that night, she's like, my career's over with now. Because, and it turned into one of her biggest hits. All right, let's get But that goes it. to show you that she knew what song to put out when and how to market herself. And she knew that Like a Virgin was going to put it on the charts. And that's how it happens. So let's get into Like a Virgin. I haven't seen this in so long. I want to see the um, lion. But I like that, like that part on the video. Okay. Sorry, this is one video I've actually seen. So, yeah. Okay. Well, I've seen it too, but it was back when MTV played music videos. I know. Yeah, but I don't listen to too much. Venus, Italy. What I was going to point out is, do you see that in every video that we reacted to so far, she was like Marilyn Monroe. Mm -hmm. She she pulls the camera into you. She takes control of the camera. And I know this is in Venice, Italy. And that's when the controversy started because she was going down the rowboat wearing crosses and it's not a rowboat it's a gondola I mean a gondola whatever I'm an I'm a southerner boy well, a boat's a boat get it right. a boat's a boat if it floats
not tight, so you're supposed to be worn. Was that her? That's the way tights are supposed to be worn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no. Little the the scene right before when the lion was walking by, and the person was by the pole wearing the the, the white dress. That didn't look like her. Because they told her to stand still. But they still didn't. Still didn't. Mary look like Lambert. Her. Um, I think it was Mary Lambert that produced this video. Or you know, it was I mean, one of them, but they didn't want the lion on the set well, due to it. See, that does not look like because she's sitting still. She's got the veil over her, and they told her to stay perfectly still. And you can see he's looking at her. Yeah, yeah that's but the lion won't attack what is not moving. That's usually, usually not true. But plus, she's know. in a white dress. She's trying, and you know, tigers don't really have that keen of of, of eyesight. As much as they do smell. Okay. No, I'm just saying. When it comes to white. We're not going to get into that. But, anywho. Anyways. Uh, I just, I, oh I just know that there was it, a real lion that was used on there. Good, a I'm lot sorry. of people were against it because they feared that it may attack Madonna or crew members. But, Madonna insisted on letting the director keep the lion in there. Because it did have a... Two big representations, two, three big representations to the song. Okay, well, you can explain it at the end. All okay. I was saying is, I mean, it honestly looks like it looks like a guy dressed in a in a the, the hair looks really short, so it looks like a guy dressed in the wedding dress, which I know it's not. That's why I don't. I it just doesn't look like Madonna. I can tell but, it is though, because I okay. I I'm just asking. Okay, let's go back to the song. See, what looks so weird about it is, it almost looked like the Twin Towers were in the background, didn't it? I wasn't really looking at that, to be honest. You didn't see when she was in the boat, did show the sky view of the Twin Towers? No. Italy. Huh? She filmed it in Italy. Okay. Then. It was filmed in Venice, but I'm assuming that maybe she left Venice hmm. and came to New York. Okay, so explain the whole lion thing. Okay, there's there's three symbolisms okay. with the lion. Because literally the only reason okay. I watched that video was because the lion. You know, you know me and big cats. Well, what is your what is your zodiac sign? I'm a Leo. What is a Leo? It's a lion. What is her? We all know it's a Leo as well. And yes, we all know it's a lion. Because so what does that got to do she with She used like the a lion for that reason. Okay, but what's that got the to do with the second reason thing? is Venice is known as the Lion City in Italian. 
You should know that. You're Italian. I'm not from Venice. <laughs> if you're Italian, you should know that. Oh, why? <laughs> why, you think Italians know, especially Italian Americans who've never even been to Italy, should know everything there is about Italy? Well, anyways, I'm not Italian. I'm a southern redneck. I mean, <laughs> gay man. No. <laughs> but I knew, I mean, no, I do a lot of reading. And the city is the city of lion. Venice is Third. the city of water. Yeah, but, but whatever. <laughs> what? Third, the song was supposed to be about Beauty and the Beast. Okay. Well, that makes a little more sense. And a lot of people don't get that. Because she I was the beauty, it. of course. She looked magnificent in the video. Oh, is that why the dude was wearing a lion mask? Yes. Okay. He was supposed to be representing the beast. Okay. And she was taming the beast. Which you saw when the lion was walking around, he was loose and free. Mm -hmm. But he wasn't hurting anyone. So basically, the lion okay. turned into the man, or which turned in... Okay, it makes it's, sense. It's hard to explain. Well, well, but it's basically on the... A loose version of Beauty and the Beast, her version of it, in an Italian way, using Venice, the city of the lion, and the fact that she's also a Leo as well. That's what, what she said the three things were that inspired her to incorporate those. But Donna always has subliminal messages in yes, her videos. You just have to watch real closely when you look at them. But... How do you rate that video? Water. See, we didn't we didn't rate into the groove. What what I, I would see, I, I would give all Madonna's solid tens because well, yeah, that you do. But I'm not I'm not saying anything because because your, your your viewers don't like when I say bad when I say things. So. Well, what do you think? Like a virgin, whenever you first heard it, where were you at? Well, I can honestly say, I think I was still a virgin. But where I saw it, I don't know. Or heard it. Probably the in the car. has nothing to do with being a virgin. Wait. <laughs> then don't use the word virgin. Um, it's being loved like a virgin. Touched for the very first time. She's getting... It doesn't mean that it's about losing your virginity. It's about actually, even if you lost your virginity, you found your soulmate. It's... Like being a virgin. Oh, okay. Touch for the very first time, shiny and new. Because <coughs> your love made me feel shiny and new. Um, like a virgin. So what are we? What did you want me to rate it from? I mean, I can say. Well, you don't have to rate it, but just tell me where were you at whenever you first heard this song, and what did you think when you heard this song? Because a lot of people out there said that she would never last because of the moaning in it. That she sounded like a, a Mickey Ma Minnie Mouse on helium. They gave her a year's top to last. Honestly, I don't remember where it was when I first heard it. I remember the first time that I can remember that I that I know I heard it, even though I know I heard it before. Okay, that bit didn't make any sense. But you know, basically, I know I've heard it before. But the first time I actually remember hearing it was when I was at the Like a Virgin tour. Yeah. You know, I rem I remember that well, and um, but I know it was I know I've heard the song prior to me going to that tour. Yeah. Um. So. I know from riding around my friends Phoebe and Tanya and everybody well, they used to. Play I mean, Madonna if this song was made in '85, I wasn't driving anywhere. I was what ten. Yeah. And you were twelve. Yeah. So you probably don't have too much. Yeah. Knowledge of even if you heard the song, what it meant. Yeah, I don't remember when. Because no, no. I'd have been 12. 12 or 13. 13, like yeah. So you weren't driving around either anywhere, so. Yeah. Yeah. And I wasn't really listening to Madonna. I was mostly yeah. listening to country. And, and my friends Phoebe and them, they, they were always listening to Madonna. And then after her third studio album came out, that's when I started saying, hmm. So. This woman's but, got something. Like I said, I have I have no idea, so we'll just have to we'll call it it. The first time I remember hearing it was at the concert, but I'm sure I've heard it before. So. Well, anyways, hope that you enjoyed us reacting to this video as much as we enjoyed reacting to this video. But I love the video. Yes. Do you know why? 
because of the lion. Yep. Wasn't because of Madonna. Well, no, I, I like lions. Lions and tigers and Madonna, oh my. <laughs> Anyways, I hope that you guys all stay safe out there in this crazy world. Remember to love and respect everyone and treat everyone the same as you would yourself. Love.